Hi guys, it's Zach. In honor of the hockey season starting up again, I wanted to do another video of my hockey jersey collection. I've gotten uh, more jerseys since my last time I've done a video like this. and But this time I want to do something different. I want to show you every single one of them. And I want to tell like a story or something or show, tell you why it's my favorite or why it's not my least favorite or why I regret buying it in the first place. But uh, I wanted to show you guys my jersey collection again. And uh, I'm very rusty with the video. So uh, if, I, if I sound incoherent at times, I apologize. So... Uh, here we go. Enjoy. Okay, uh, if you don't notice, I also got a bunch of shit hanging on my walls, so I'm also going to go for that as well. But first off, I want to start off with Vegas, and I got the reverse retro from last season. Uh, this one, the one that glows in the dark, kind of, well, when you, it goes like this, when you go, it goes Vega a lot. I don't know why. I got a buddy named Chris Vega, and uh, I, that's a tribute to him, I guess. But uh, yeah, this is a cool one. I mean, it lights up. I'd say... Uh, they should go with a white version of this and get rid of the the golden knight in my opinion but that's just me the 2021 third version of the reverse retro for the vegas golden knights the one that's based off of the las vegas funder from 1995 i didn't like this at first when it first came out but when i visited vegas back in uh june of 2021 right before i moved out here a lot of people were wearing this and they were still in the playoffs at the time i think that was when they played against colorado and uh it grew on me and i decided to buy it and uh, I'd say I like it because I, I like the red trim on it. Uh, not really my gold is not really my style here, but uh, I definitely uh, like the red, of of course, on this. So yeah, Vegas Reverse Retro 2021. Here's something that is near dear to my hot heart because uh, I lost uh, a grandfather to cancer, and I uh, my mom had cancer. She beat it luckily, and uh, that's the reason why I have this. And I also have this in other teams as well. And it's the Vegas Golden Knights Hockey Fights Cancer warm-up jersey. It's one of my favorites. Uh, definitely lo definitely uh, like wearing it out here. It's uh, It means a lot to me, of course. And uh, one thing I really like is I, I write on it too and have it for my mom right there. And uh, she gets to wear it a lot more than I do, that's for sure. Now we get to go to the fun part. And uh, I'm going to go to the Ottawa Senators part. And uh, this is a beauty, beauty. And that's what the B stands for in my opinion and that's the Belvoir Signers home uniforms. I've been meaning to get the red one and the white one as well but this one's my favorite of fav best uh, unis in the AHL in my opinion. I might be a little biased never been to Belleville at all but and I've had a uh, season tickets to the Chicago Wolves during my childhood but I have to say this best unis in the AHL no questions asked Next up, I got the 2022 NHL All-Star jersey, and it's a uh, Brady Kachuk on the back of it. I also got this uh, patch poorly sold onto it. As you can see, it's kind of like off-centered. That is what it is. But, uh, yeah, I got this uh, when it came out when the All-Star game was out here in Vegas. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, it's a Brady Kachuk jersey, and uh, I wanted to wear it to a game. Because uh, it was my first VGK game, and I didn't know what to wear because I was worried that if I was going to wear a Senators jersey, I might get beat up. I didn't like my chances, especially with how the Senators have been lately over the years. But I got this one. I wore this one. And unfortunately, they still lost that game. They lost that game with five seconds left. Here's a funny picture of me at that game, too, right when that happened. up i got the current ottawa senators home uniforms i got three versions of these because it's one of my favorites it's the ottawa senators black 2d logo that came out in 2020 it ushered in a new era for the ottawa senators with the drafting of tim stutzla announced by alex trebek and jake sanderson as well and then these jerseys came out that same night one of my favorites they they, they just go i'm i'm extremely biased but they just here's a full view of them my favorites. I love these. Second favorites, I would say. First favorites. Probably my first, I would say. Because uh, being a Blackhawks fan as well, I kind of have the condition to say, oh, that Indian head logo is amazing. But it's only a matter of time before that they get canceled. So I have to say this is number one. Go Sens, go. And here is the away version of that jersey as well. And uh, this is what I like about this one is when they have the set is uh, – 
I like how they made this whole uh, sleeve white because uh, their socks, when they wear the whole set, it matches their socks. So I think that's pretty cool. I also have another version of this I hit that's hanging on my wall as well. Sorry about all the noise. I'm still trying to, I'm still getting used to this shit. But uh, yeah, that's uh, the Ottawa Senators away uniforms. How about that? Best logo in the NHL in my opinion. Haters gonna hate. Part of the video took me about like 30 shots to do because I talk about I, I talk about that jersey at nauseum because it's one of my favorites and I have so many stories of uh, when that first came out and how and that whole thing of getting to, getting to the 2D logo from that nasty 3D logo at the centers had for years. But the next one I'm gonna choose I have right here is uh, the Hockey Fights Cancer Ottawa Senators jersey. Uh, it's just like the VGK one. I also have a Blackhawks one too that I'm gonna show you guys. One of my favorites as well. I wore I wore this to games as well. I wore this to the last few Senators games I've been to. Uh, for here, I, ha I had a tribute to my mom for on the VGK one. This one I have uh, Brian Murray, I was old GM back in the day. One of my favorite one of my favorite hockey minds from uh, my childhood. Definitely a good GM. Miss him dearly. And uh, yeah, that's the Ottawa Senators uh, hockey fights cancer uniform into the reverse retros the Ottawa Senators version at least the 2020 2021 Ottawa Senators reverse retro based off their 92 93 season with, with a little bit of red in it I think these should be their alternates as well in my opinion just a few modifications you could put the, the black stripe in here put it down here put that up here I guess and then uh, the numbers you could make them white instead of uh, black as well because I remember the announcers always complain that the numbers were too small or they couldn't read them. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'll do with them. And uh, maybe you could put the, the, the newer version of the logo with the gold uh, laurels instead of the red. I think that's what you call them, laurels. Not totally sure. Don't, don't yell at me for that. But, yeah, this is one of my favorites as well. One of my favorites. It's, uh, oh, oh, I'd say it's just like the Heritage Old, but maybe better. I don't know. I can't. I can't. I don't have the heart to say it's better than the Heritage Joel, but it's up there for sure. And here is uh, last year's version of the Reverse Retro, which is based off uh, the Senegal from 2007. But they really messed it up by not putting this here and putting this there. Whatever. That's not the point, I guess. But uh, this is starting to grow on me. I think it will look better if I had a name on the back, because uh, that's basically it looks better in my opinion if you have a name on the back, like if I had like a Sanderson and Kachuk, but. Uh, like I said earlier, it might be a kiss of death to have a name on a jersey. I usually do that after the fact, after the player plays on the team, though. But, yeah, this is kind of growing on me as well. It's kind of a bit of a disappointment. I kind of wish they did something different with it. But, uh, eh, whatever. The, anything with a 2D on it, I'm going to buy it, unfortunately. Kind of noticed I'm going backwards in time a little bit. But, oh, well, I'm not going to stop here. But here it is, the Heritage Old uh, Centennial jersey, I'll say. That's what they would call it. Because they did have it for a couple of years, but it does have that patch from that game. Unfortunately, that game is uh, marred by different uh, shit that happened that I don't want to talk about. Because of uh, if you build a grocery store somewhere else, uh, you're going to get more fans there or something like that. I don't know. That guy passed away. Rest in peace, Uji Melnick. But, uh, yeah, it's... I, this is pretty cool in my opinion. I, I like this jersey. It brought they didn't win that many games wearing these outside of that uh, outdoor game, but uh, one of my favorites. It, it, it pops, and here's the championships that they won a million years ago. I don't claim those, just uh, they put them on there. But still, nice jersey. We're gonna go with the Black Heritage Owl. This is one of my favorites. A lot of high school memories in this because they wore these from 2011 to 2017. And at the end of it, I got this patch on it. And this is the only uh, 3D logo you ever see in my collection. I had one, but I sold it recently. Uh, Mar one of my favorite. This is a decent patch, too. I remember when it first came out, it was pretty ugly. And everyone on Twitter was roasting it. But uh, it looked pretty good on the jerseys. It even made the, the 3D uniforms pop. But that might have had something to do with the, the, the run that they had that year. Definitely one of my favorites. Like, uh, I know it's a Lorraine's, Lorraine's Martian. It screams Ottawa. I like the O. It does look like a zero, and haters say it's a zero. It would have been cool if they had the whole set, because I do got the Heritage Classic version as well, with the 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 cream colored. This is one of my favorites. It's hard to find, and uh, 
No, it's not for sale. You're going to have to pry it off of my cold dead hands. Sorry, guys. Okay, now I got three versions of the Senegoth. The one that they wore from 1997 to at least 2007. And this reminds me of uh, Game 3 and 4 of the 07 Stanley Cup Finals. When, when they were wearing these and everyone in the crowd was wearing these. I got three versions. Of, I got three uh, versions of these jerseys. I got a Dominic Kashuk as well. It's on eBay if any of you guys want it. Just look it up. And I also got one a coal hole version of it as well. Kind of a hand me down, but this one also doesn't have it's not it doesn't have the the black eye eyeliner on it. It was the this is like the OG version of it. And uh yeah, definitely a a jersey that kind of gets a little hate here and there though, but I like it in my opinion. It brings back memories of when I first started watching the team and uh and it's why I'm a Senators fan cuz of their cool jerseys. Last but not least, I got a Owl Center's practice uniform. Well, I got another few more on the walls. I just said earlier in the video that I got a bunch of uh, jerseys on the wall, but they're they're nicely on the wall right now, and I don't want to touch them because the jer the logos are increased. I'm a little picky that way. But here I here's the uh, last one I'm going to show you guys before the end of the video, and it's a uh, old practice uniform from probably the early 2000s, I'm guessing, because uh, only this is the giveaway for that. For me, I guess. Yeah, this is a uh, plain red. It's got this. Might wear this to an ODR. Too bad it doesn't get that cold out here in Vegas. But uh, definitely one of my one of a, one a good one as well. I, I I wish they did have more. Like I said earlier about the reverse retro, I wish they kind of would make that their our alternate uniforms because I do like them having black uniforms as their home uniforms. But it would be sick if they also had a red alternate. But don't make that the primary one, please don't. Now we're moving on to the Blackhawks, and I got the current home uniforms. This is uh, not the prime green version, but uh, this is uh, the new home ones that they have since uh, 2019. Because I really I like the neckline a lot better on this one than the original Adidas uniforms. You can see the logo; it's got a little chain stitching on it. This is this is what I like the most about it right here is the chain stitching on the on the on the logo. It's uh, snaps. It's it's pretty cool, and uh, also got. Uh, a Reebok version of this one. This is one I didn't have at the time, but I bought it after the fact, and uh, it's one of my favorites as well. They are winning cups with this uniform, with uniform, and they have the yeah. This is a I forgot what this is called. I think this is a this isn't a, a made in Canada version, but it is close enough because this one also has the chain stitching, but it's also a Reebok, which is pretty cool as well. And I also have. An away version of the OG version as well. Uh, if you, if I look at the wall, there you go. There's a, there's the new one. Here's the old one. There you go. Got the Wolves jersey and the Marion Hossa jersey as well. I might uh, show you guys that later. And uh, I also have a few more. I got this one. This will. This is like a kid's one. And I got a, a one from when I was a kid that I just found out was a knockoff. And this is why it's a knockoff. If you uh, turn it inside out and see this, chances are it's a knockoff. But I didn't care at the time. I wore, I wore this to games. I have a lot of memories of Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taze being rookies while wearing these. Definitely a nice uniform. And uh, a lot of memories of that as well growing up in Chicago. And another uh, Hockey Fights Cancer uniform, and I got the Blackhawks version with my uncle and my grandmother's favorite uh, hockey player, Tony Esposito, Patch. I love that. It's awesome. Uh, once again, before I... Uh, one thing I'll say about these uniforms, the NHL will not stop getting in their way by getting rid of specialty uniforms just because a few MAGA hat wearing people don't like the gay pride stuff. And imagine hating gay people so much that you cancel Hockey Fights Cancer Night. That's it. I'm not going to get too political here. But, yeah, one of my favorites. Another one of my favorites. All of these are my favorites. I'm going to be saying that a lot until I get to my miscellaneous... Mis miscellane miscellaneous... I can't talk. But, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, Hockey Fights Cancer, Blackhawks, 35, Tony Esposito, Hockey Fights Cancer. And this one, I put my grandpa's name on it. I also put my mom. Kind of, uh, I, I spelled uh, 
my grandpa Raymond. I spelled Grandpa Raymond wrong, so that's why I kind of uh, scr- 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 scratched it out. But uh, yeah, I'm stuttering. But it's just yeah, I, I have a picture of them right up here. Uh, they both uh, passed away from cancer, and uh, yeah, I'm going on a tangent here. So sorry, guys. I'm gonna go on. Okay, on to the next one. I'm gonna keep this in here. Okay, now we're going to go with the reverse retros, the Blackhawks edition. And first, we got the 2020-2021 Blackhawks reverse retro. And it was advertised like this for obvious reasons. This one, I didn't get to wear as much as I wanted to. But it has grown on me over the years. Uh, I like, the, I like the, the red on the top right here. I wish they got to wear these more. I think they only wore these like two times as well. And when they first came out, you remember, I remember they came out like this. And... Uh, but, and for obvious reasons that I won't get into because I said I won't, I won't go political here. But if uh, they do go that route, I won't be disappointed because they, if they go with something like this, I think that's cool. It screams Chicago in my opinion. If I was still living there, I would be repping this every day on the blue line, 24-7, Chicago. And it's one of my favorites as well. And it, it, a lot of people don't like it, but uh, I like it. And even though they were 32, their 32 place, 32nd place, whenever when they wore these, it don't matter because uh, they got Bedard. So uh, yeah, I also got a Patrick Kane version of this that I bought when I was back in Chicago back in March, when I was drunk. One of my favorites. I'm sorry that you don't agree with me. Here is the one of the many of the Winter Classic uniforms that the Blackhawks wore. And this is a 2019 Winter Classic uniform with, I got the Stan Makita patch on it. The, with the Oreo cookie colorway. I got a picture of it with a box of Oreos that they, uh, my mom got for me for Christmas. My favorite memory of wearing these was the day the game happened. Uh, I was at my grandma's house and I watched the National Anthem while wearing this jersey at her house. And uh, that, that always stays with me. They also wore these uniforms when they played the Ottawa Senators in a 8-6 to six barn burner of a game. Hold on a second. I got the puck from that. Yeah, this right here. They wore it on this date. This was Mark Stone's last game with the Ottawa Senators and some guy named Matt Duchesne. I don't know him. But uh, this was his last game. Last game. Last game. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, yep. And I got the puck. Cheers to that. I also got to see Eric Branson's last game with the Chicago Wolves before that trade happened. So all the people here in Vegas, you're welcome for Mark Stone. Two thousand fifteen Winter Classic, which is pretty similar to their away jerseys, kinda. A lot more go not 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 as much going on. Kinda look like prison uniforms. But uh they got the, the Hawks uh, shoulder patch on the elbows, like the old school ones, and this is a blank. And they wore these in 2015 against the Washington Capitals, and that was a frustrating game. I think they should have won that game. Troy Browler, goddamn. Uh, two versions, or you could say two and a half versions of this, and it's the one that we're going to see pretty, Bedard wear pretty soon, and it's the black version, alternate of the Chicago Blackhawks uniform. Unfortunately, this isn't chain stitched. If it was chain stitched, I would be like, but it still goes hard. I, I wore this to work every oh, every Friday back when I worked at FedEx back home, and uh, it's one of my favorites as well. I, I said it again. If I'm not saying um, I'm saying one of my favorites, but it's understandable. I'll get that right eventually. But yeah, these are coming back, and I'm excited for them. And uh, here's uh, another version I have of it, and this is kind of like the one that they had in the 90s with the uh, the outline around the logo, a little old school. It reminds me of Tony Amani. And here is the Stadium Series one, and it's the only outdoor game that the Blackhawks have ever won. And I got the patch for it as well. Back when the NHL had like 10 outdoor games in like one season, which was crazy. I was playing in NHL 14, it was, a, it was like zero degrees, but... It was awesome. It was awesome time to be a hockey fan in Chicago. They uh, went on that little run. They lost to the Kings that year, though, but I got my use out of that that year. The, unfortunately, uh, like the hockey guy says, this logo does fray up 
when I got this uh, patched on, I guess they washed it and the logo kind of got you can't you can't you can barely see it, but it got it got bubbly a little bit right here. But yeah, one of my favorites as well. And I said it again, but I'm not ashamed of it. Now I got two versions of the '90s Blackhawk style. I got a uh, this one I believe is a CCM, and it's my dad's. It's got my last name on it, my government name, unfortunately. And uh, my sister's number, because she was born on April 17th. This was before I was born, though, no, but well, uh, he could have it when uh, when I move out. But, uh, yeah, one of my uh, one of, one of uh, the ones that made me a hockey fan was just seeing my dad wear this all the time as a kid. And, a wolf, and seeing the Wolves jersey as well. That's what made me fall in love with hockey, seeing the red and the bright colors. And that's why hockey is my favorite sport. And uh, this one right here, it's a, which I think it's pretty cool because I got like an Adidas version of the Blackhawks uniform and I got a, a Nike version. And it's a shame that, uh, there you go. It's a shame that uh, they couldn't do it again. They let Fanatics have the uniforms next year and I'm not looking forward to that. But hey, I could save money. Always gotta look for the silver lining. You know what I'm saying? Okay, the last Blackhawks jersey I'm going to show you guys before I show you the two that are on my wall and the cane one that I was talking about earlier, and it's a practice uniform, Reebok. It's pretty, uh, one thing that I appreciate about this one is this. Also another jersey that you could wear when uh, you go to the rink, when I go to City National, I'll wear this and get tomatoes thrown at me. I don't care. Nice uh, practice uniform. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's all my Blackhawks uniforms that I have. Someone's knocking at the door. Okay, uh, miscellaneous, miscellaneous. It's gonna appear above my head how I pronounce that. Okay. Okay, here it is, LA Kings. Uh, this is my dad's jersey as well because of um, Wayne Gretzky in the 90s, he had this. I remember, uh, this is my first memories of all the sweaters I have. This one and uh, this one right here were the only ones that I had growing up as a kid. They were my dad's. And the one that I showed you earlier that had the, my government last name on it. Those three uniforms were always present in, 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 the, in the closet, whatever you want to say. I had the Kings one as well. This was used as a doormat in 2013, 2014, unfortunately. No, it wasn't. It just stayed in the closet. But I remember we used to joke that, hey, we should use it as a doormat. But don't worry, Dad, it wasn't. And don't worry, I'm never going to sell this one because... Uh, it's got those memories, so I won't. But I did sell the one. I was going to show you a white version of this with the Adidas that came out right before COVID hit that I bought, but it sat in my closet for too long, and I was like, you know what? I'm never going to wear this, and they clawed on you, bit, bit Brady Kachuk, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to sell this on eBay, and I did, and someone from L.A. bought it, and that's good enough for me because I don't like the Kings, and unfortunately... I'm kind of biased against L.A. living out on the West Coast That when you don't live in L.A. Yeah, that's just how I am. I apologize if I have found anyone. Now we go to the Anaheim Ducks, and it's the 25th anniversary Anaheim Ducks uniform, and this jersey has made me friends. It's made conversation, and it's done a lot. And actually, when I wear this out here in Vegas, people say good morning to me, which is pretty cool. And yeah. It's the 25th anniversary version of the Mighty Ducks jersey. I, they're the Mighty Ducks to me, but uh, yeah, I wore this a lot back in uh, early uh, mid 2020. Right when I got my promotion at work, I started wearing jerseys every Friday, and this was one of them. And I always uh, got compliments on it, and it made me feel good, even though I don't like Ducks, and I'm mad about 2007 and 2015. And I can't believe Corey Perry plays for the Blackhawks, but that's besides the point. This. It is a decent uniform and Anaheim they really need to bring this back I don't know what they're doing what they have now is just terrible and here's the reverse retro from uh, last season I don't have the one the OG reverse retro but I have last year's reverse retro and it has a Zegris on the back of it and uh, yeah this is nice too I don't want uh, having on a chance to warn this that often usually if I'm wearing something Chicago Bears esque I would ask, yeah, Chicago Bears ish, if I if I do that, they're pretty terrible now. I'll wear, I'll pair it up with this. Uh, yeah, so yeah, there it is, Anaheim Ducks. 
eggplant, Mighty Ducks, Ducks Fly Together, whatever the saying is. It's an overrated movie, but a sick uniform. Paul Korea. That's how, what I think when I see that logo. And I, I, and I made friends when I wear that, so there's a, that's always a good part. Three Colorado Avalanche uniforms, starting with their current home uniforms with the 25th anniversary patch. This is another jersey that I would wear on Fridays when it was uh, pretty hard to show my face when I was a Senators fan. I would wear this because uh, my rights were traded to Colorado for like a, like a season. I wasn't cheering for them, though. But if my own biased opinion, this is one of the better logos in the NHL, one of the better sets. I also like their the blue pants and the blue helmet that they wear with this uniform. Kind of reminds me of the Winnipeg Jets. Not the Winnipeg Jets, the Quebec Nordiques. These guys right here, yeah. yeah. My my apologies to all the Quebec people. No, I'm not, sorry. You can't, and you cannot have my hockey team. The Ottawa Senators are staying in Ottawa, and I'm sorry to, to, about that. And here's my Burgundy Quebec Nordiques jersey, reverse retro, Colorado Avalanche, I should say. They wore these in Lake Tahoe. These are pretty nice. Uh, had to get my hands on it. I had a, I actually had the OG Quebec Nordiques uh, jersey, but uh, unfortunately I sold that on eBay when uh, at a time when I needed money, and I kind of regret that decision. So that's why I bought this one for uh, way too much money. And uh, yeah, and. Uh, I might wear that to a VGK game. Hopefully I won't get beat up. And uh, here's a 90s version. Or the, the original, I shouldn't just say 90 version, but like the original version of the Avalanche jersey. It's more red than burgundy. It reminds me of Pierre Forsberg, Joe Sackick. And also you got the foot instead of the C for Colorado. I have a cousin that lives in Colorado, so I'll be dressed appropriately the next time I'm up there. I haven't been there in two years, but yeah. Definitely one of the better logos in the NHL. Definitely. Love it. Can't say enough good things about it because they're dope. Speaking of the Winnipeg Jets, these are actually the Winnipeg Jets, not the Quebec Nordiques, and it's the reverse retro. I also had a, the away version. Uh, the current away Winnipeg Jets jersey, I sold that for peanuts a few years ago. But I think they should go to this full time. These are nice. I remember they were, the Blackhawks when they played against the Winnipeg Jets last season. They were, the Jets wore this twice, once at Winnipeg and once in Chicago, and I thought it was just be beautiful for the eyes. And uh, I uh, snagged this over the summer for eighty bucks on e on a uh, not on eBay on Adidas, and I don't regret that decision. It's a nice jersey. I like the the homage to the goals for kids right here. Uh, not it goes well with my hat too. That's a, if I want to cheer for the Blue Jays, if the White Sox move to Nashville, I could uh, have this combo already. So, yeah. Winnipeg Jets for first retro from 2022-2023 hockey season. Yep. My faves. Again. The NHL jerseys. Uh, going on about like 25 minutes here. So, if you stayed this long, thank you very much. I also have a few more on my walls that I want to show you. But, uh. I got a few uh, cool ones here. I got uh, Canada from the 2022 Olympics. Also got a USA from that same year. This reminds me of Jake Sanderson. I need to get a Sanderson on the back, but I like this. i am also got a red one that's on the on the way soon. I was gonna have. I was gonna wait to film this video until I got that, but uh, it's taking too long. It's making a trek from the Ottawa team store in Canada to Vegas, so it's not gonna be here for a while. So here it is. Also got the red one on, on the way. I like it. It isn't that popular. It would have been nice to see Connor McDavid wear this with Sidney Crosby, but that never happened. Thanks a lot, COVID and China. But, yeah. And also I have the Wisconsin Badgers uniform. Their current uniforms, I think. Yep. School that I wish I went to, but I'm not that smart. So it is what it is. All right, guys. And uh, here are the jerseys that are on my wall, and then you can be out of here. And if uh, you're still watching, I love you. All right, guys, here are the jerseys that I have on my wall that I won't take down, but I could show you to you. Here they are. Here is uh, my Chicago Wolves uniform. I went to, like I said earlier in the video, I had uh, my uncle always took me to Chicago Wolves games, and I would always wear a Senators jersey when I was there. That was the only time I got to wear my Senators uniforms to outside of uh chicago or outside of the uh, public whenever the centers weren't on was at wolves games and i decided i need a wolves jersey 
and I got one. I like that very much. I need to get I need to get more of those. Here's the current uh, Wave Blackhawks. I already showed that one. Here's the 2D logo, the the current away uniforms. This is a, that's an arrow, right? That's not the prime green. The prime green is the one I showed. Here's the current away Vegas Golden Knights. Here's the flag of a pile of shit. Here's my Patrick Kane reverse retro from uh, last season. I also, one thing I forgot to mention is I put a Hockey Fights Cancer patch on both of those just to even out the, the ratio. Uh, a Kuna Tumble jersey as well, unrelated, sorry. And a Marion Hosa jersey. And then uh, here are the two classic uh, Blackhawks uniforms, the one I showed earlier about the, the away this These are actually the home uniforms from back then. They need to switch back to white, in my opinion. And then here's the red one. And I also have uh, one with my uh, my last name on the back of it with the current Ottawa Senators home uniforms. Uh, for the record, that's not my last name. That's my Polish last name. And here's a Daniel Alfredson one, Hall of Famer Daniel Alfredson. And that's a uh, yeah. That's all my jerseys. Got got a few pennants here, and I'm editing the video. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I love you all. And uh, if you uh, sticked around, thank you very much. I also got a. Uh, if I'm going to show you the Akuna Tumble one, I also have a few more. I got a few Bears jerseys. Got a Brandon Mark Marshall. I got a few White Sox uniforms. I like the South Side one. A Bucks, another Bucks jersey. That's a Akuna Tumble as well. A Zach Levine jersey. And I also got the two jackets from those uh, reverse retros. If you guys are, are that deep in the NHL, you know that. A few other sweaters. So, yeah, guys, uh, my room is a mess now. I'm sorry. So, yeah, thank you for watching. And, uh, and if I don't see you guys anytime soon, peace.